This is how we recommend doing a demonstration for the Easy Petrol Post driver. First of all, you take the pilot bar and we make a hole, generally 12 to 15 inches into the ground. It's important to get this hole past any hard bits or past any lumps of rock to make sure that the post will go in. You don't need to have a big wide hole, it's more important that it goes in. That's the depth the bar has gone in, which is perfect. What we then do, if it's very dry, is to just add a little bit of water, which you can do. It's best to let that soak in a bit before you actually knock the post in. For this post, a 75mm post, we have a 78mm adapter, which is part of the UK A set. So that's the three inch post gone in. Now we're going to do it with a 90mm post. For this we need the 95mm adapter. So we're going to do exactly the same again. Add a bit of water. So now we change the adapter on the UK A set. It's always important to have exactly the right size of adapter. The closer the adapter can be to the diameter of the post, the more efficient the machine is. So just to recap, the most important things are to make sure that you get a good pilot hole and also the water is the magic ingredient. Moving on now to the largest size that the machine is capable of driving in. This is a 100 millimetre post or four inch. We're going to do two examples, one with the normal bar here and then we're going to use the pilot core tool, which I will explain afterwards. So we do the same process, make a hole with the bar Add a bit of water to this. <clears throat> so in the UKA set, the biggest adapter is the four inch, which is the basic adapter. So we take the three and a half inch adapter out
So the next one we're going to do is using the pilot core tool. For this we don't use the bar. The pilot core tool has got a cutting head on it where the diameter is smaller than the internal diameter and it has a bulge on the outside which diameter is larger than the pipe. So when you've actually done the core you can just tap this upside down and the core will fall out. So what we do with this, we just change the collar and drive the core tool in. So we've driven this core tool to about six inches below the first marker here. What you can do is just put this in and if you want use your stake to just prise up the first bit of it. You can then put the bar in the top here, twist it and pull. This removes the core. If you turn this upside down and tap it, you can see that the core comes out. So that's the core that we've taken out. The magic ingredient again is some water. It's best to let this soak for two or three minutes while you chat to your customer. And we'll see now how quickly this stake goes in and the water mixes with the soil to also create a nice slurry which sets rock hard when it's dry. So to summarise, the most important thing is to basically take your time, make sure you allow, allow enough time for the water to soak in. This machine is not replacing the big rigs, it's for working in inaccessible places and places where you can't get the larger tractor mounted uh, post knockers.